Hi guys, welcome to our first webinar hosted by Gems by Pants. My name is Kyle, and today I just want to run through understanding what next color diamonds are. And my favorite slogan here is no. Without knowing, you get no. Uh, without the K, knowledge, and the W for wisdom, you get no. Regal, grand, spectacular, and rare are just a few words that we like to use to describe natural color diamonds. Before we get into all of the information that I'm about to provide, I always love to show off nature and natural color diamonds because natural color diamonds are in fact the Earth's greatest gift to mankind. So it's always fun, for me at least, to intertwine the two. Okay, so on this slide, I just wanna go over the color grading scale. This is a color grade from GIA giving the different colors and the modifiers to those colors. For this particular topic, I wanna to ignore the top that says type one and type two. That's a more scientific uh, information that we can go over at a later time, but color can have modifiers. So if it's red, for example, a pure red would be a little bit more valuable than a purplish red of equal size. That being said, we have modifiers, we have shapes, and we have intensity of colors that all kind of create a value of a natural color diamond. So for instance, a yellow diamond could also be, there could be a fancy yellow diamond and there can be a fancy brownish yellow diamond. Of course, the brownish yellow would be a little bit less money than the pure, pure yellow. So understanding color and value, a lot goes into this, but on the left you have brown, gray, and black, which are in the rare category. And then on the far right, you have most rare, which would be red and purple. And in the middle there, you have very rare and extremely rare. So to talk about pink, for example, or blue, obviously those things, those colors can be really found in the most rare category depending on their size. So if it's a really large pink like that just that just sold last year for a record 50 million plus dollars. That's really rare. That's probably the most rare diamond in the world in terms of a pink diamond. So obviously we can argue some of these, but this would be categorizing the colors as a whole. This chart here shows a five year and a 10 year period uh, between 2005 and 2006. This is reported by Rappaport. And, um, I just want to go over this briefly on the 10 year to keep it brief. Just show you half carat white between 2005 and 2015 increased in value by 10% versus a half carat fancy intense argyle pink shown all the way on the right, which increased at 375%. Obviously, the supply in the world of an intense argyle pink is much far greater, or excuse me, far less than a white. Another factor that played into this, which I can go over in a little bit, if everybody recalls, we had the Great Recession of 2008. Um, this obviously lasted a few years, and that recession allowed a lot of alternative investors to put money into natural colored diamonds. So that was another factor of that tremendous growth. The growth will continue as of 2019, according to the New York Post. Pink is the hottest gemstone, the hottest color. And of course, 90% of the world supply is coming from the Argyle mine out of Australia. And they are closing the doors in 18 months. It is becoming too expensive for them to continue to mine, and there's not enough supply being produced to keep the doors open. Today, as a fact of all of these realizations, more and more consumers are becoming aware of color, and that, of course, will continue to increase the value of natural color. Last topic on value here. This is a, another little chart between 2005 and 15, showing the increased value as a group of fancy color compared to the Dow, S&P, and London House. Obviously, today in our economic boom that we've experienced over the last couple of years, this chart would look a little different. Uh, but as you can see, uh, fancy color tends to 
stand against bad economic times and also hold its value during economic booms. As you can see, it's a great place for alternative investments as a group for Fancy Color. The biggest driving factor of the Fancy Color diamond world is the pinks, the reds, the blues, and the rarest colors that are in those categories. So I always love to compare, not to compare, but group rare purple diamonds with rare McLarens because both are very special. Just to keep it basic, an understanding here of why color is so special is that it reflects your personal taste. A natural color can really look particularly nice on somebody's skin tone compared to the contrast of their skin tone, compared to the contrast of their hair. So it's kind of like a real personal taste that allows somebody to, to buy it. I put a pink diamond on somebody's hand a couple months ago and they went nuts and bought it sight on scene. Um, it looked so great on their skin. Obviously the ring design was really nice and it made them happy. So they bought it. Um, it was really exciting for me to see that. So that's essentially what makes color so special is it, if it speaks to you, then it's, you know, it's for you. It's meant for you. It's your gift from earth, literally. And of course, as we discussed, the value here is solely uh, on the rarity of color and the supply and demand factors that equate to those. So why natural color diamonds? Great question. Today, color is trending. Um, and of course, our company creates product lines at accessible price points. And I can go and show you that in a few minutes here. And of course, the red diamond, for instance, in the background here has a unique story, a unique heritage with a fantastic story. And we have a couple pieces like that in our collections that, um, you know, if somebody wants to spend some good amount of money to place into a natural color diamond, you can wear it. You don't have to wear it. But regardless of wearing it or not wearing it, gifting it or not gifting it, it will have a fantastic story to go along with it. And that's what really makes a color diamond so special. And of course, myself included in this as a millennial buyer, and even the next generation behind us all like to be a little unique from others and color allows them access to be unique because every color is one of a kind and no two are ever alike. And um, who can buy these items? Uh, the answer to that is everyone. As you can see on the left, we have an orange diamond ring. And that is obviously a little bit more expensive than the product that's on the right. Uh, obviously, we have a sterling silver product line here with natural color diamonds that can be purchased with only a few hundred dollars. Under five, to be exact. Under three, to be even more exact. So it's really special. And our company is, um, our company has been supplying retail stores for over 40 years. And we have a nice collection of fashion, bridal, loose diamonds, and of course, a wide range of marketing material and online training modules such as this platform here that can allow everybody to understand the full spectrum of natural color diamonds and why we're so passionate about sharing this love to everybody in the world. Again, I want to thank everybody for their time. If you have any questions, please email me at info. My email is info at gems by pants, or you can give us a call at 1-800-426-4435.